against the continued actions of the UK and the US in their relentless campaign to control and own the world through any means that they can, through lies, through propaganda and through invasion. And as long as they keep lying about other regimes, and as long as they keep lying about their own regime, we will keep repeating ourselves, exposing again and again the lies of the Western governments. The UK pretends to be the hand of friendship, the arm of liberation, but it wants to wage war on other nations and other people. This is the modern form of imperialism. This is the modern form of colonialism, wrapped up in a pretend claim that the UK wants to free Afghanistan from the Taliban, or the UK wants to democratise the Middle East, or the UK wants to secure the world from Iranian nuclear danger. Remember the words of Bush when America waged war. He called it Operation Freedom. Well, the lying words are the same as the UK government's pretend their desire for freedom motivates the current relentless campaign against Iran. This does not fool us, and we have heard it all before. condemn the UK government that they spread in their media and their parliament chambers and in their press and in their news channels. We don't want their wars, their wars, not our wars. We don't want war and we cannot afford war. I want the UK to stop stealing from my pocket, stop stealing from my education and stop stealing from my mother's pension and my who is being asked to pay for the cost of this war. Not just this week, not just this year, but for the rest of our lives. Britain cannot pay for voluntary services, for public services, for any service, because millions of pounds has been cut from that budget. There have been savage, ruthless cuts, and all of these cuts have been made so that the money can be diverted into going into war and paying for war for soldiers, paying for guns, paying for bullets. I want to pay for crayons in schools. I want to pay for books. I want to pay for school milk, not bullets. Milk, not bullets. Yet the UK and the US keep telling us that they are civilized, that they want democracy, but they don't want us to speak. What is democratic about silencing us? And what is democratic about silencing me? What is democratic about thousands of innocent civilians being killed with thousands more being injured in Afghanistan, Libya and Iraq? What is democratic about the destruction of the educational system, the health service in Britain? What is democratic about the UK and the Home Secretary when he authorised the use of plastic bullets at the last student's anti-fees rally. You see, the trouble is, the West does not know democracy anymore. Yeah. How can America talk about transition to democracy in Egypt when its democracy is keeping the hor horrors and the toxic legacy of Guantanamo Bay open? to close the detention facility by January 2010. So what is of his promise? Worthless, absolutely worthless. We must continue to challenge the array of anti-terror laws that were thought up overnight without any safeguards and now being part of our so-called law. We must continue to repeat, repeat and repeat. We will not for a moment stand still. We will continue marching, continue fighting and continue chanting. No, interfering in, no to interfering in other countries like Iran to exp expand our empire. No to war, no to bullets, no more missiles, no more fighter jets, no more lies. And stop stealing from school children and university students. Hey, US, leave us kids alone. Yeah.